<laughs> like Richard, Richard is the rawest motherfucker in show because Richard's the one that made me want to do comedy. When I was little, I wanted to be Richard Pryor so bad, I used to read, li listen to Sneak in the Memory, Sneak in the Basement, put his albums on and just listen. And your mother ain't supposed to hear it, so you listen, <clears throat> listening to shit. And I turned it, I was, I wanted to be Richard so bad, I used to go out on stage when I was 15 and talk and act and walk and do everything like Richard Pryor. My mother would sit there and watch her little 15 year old son on stage saying some outlandish shit. My whole act back then was about taking the shit because that's all I had done at 15. That was my life experience, but it sounded like Richard Pryor jokes. I'd be going, you ever like sometime, right? You get on that toilet, and when you shit, that water splash up on your ass. <laughs> Don't that make you mad, right? You know what really make me mad is when shit come halfway out your ass, then go back up in that motherfucker. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why does shit be teasing your ass, right? Just get the fuck out, right? You know what really bothers me is when you be straining for a long time, right? And one little pebble shit come out, right? Be some shit this big, right? Well, push your head up your asshole and say, that's all the shit I'm gonna get, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what really make me mad when your ass don't cooperate with you and clench up and break the shit in half? And you be mad as a motherfucker too because you know you got to wipe your ass for like five hours and shit, right? <laughs> Use 12 rolls of toilet paper on that motherfucker. You know what really make me mad though is afterwards, right? It's after you shit, you done all the shit you gonna do for the whole day, right? You finish shitting and you flush the toilet and wait a second and one chunk come back. <laughs> what does that chunk want? <laughs> my act, my mother sit there shocked. Now if you don't speak English, you can't hear that bit. If you, all you hear is shit, ass, and shit, shit. See, I got a lot of foreigners that come over. I got a lot of people from other countries that see my films that come over to the United States because in New York is like a tourist place and they get HBO and they catch delirious and they can't speak English and try to do my act on the street and all they got is the curses. I got foreigners from all over the world walking up going, Eddie Murphy, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Eddie. I know you. I see you on television. You're the fuck you man, right? I love it. Suck my dick, huh? Suck it, you black motherfucker. I love it. The best motherfucker. The fuck you man. Made me stay in the house, man. You gambling with your dick saying, come on, I need a woman with a mind. I need the perfect person. Come on now, give it to me. I need somebody perfect for me. Come on, give it to me now. Oh, shit, fat buck tooth, bitch. No, give my dick back, no. No, give my dick back, but I'm gonna keep rolling. I got one more roll in me. Come on, here, I want the perfect woman now. Come on now, I want somebody with a mind, intelligence, a nice ass, and a body. Give it to me now. Oh, skinny cock-eyed bitch. No, give my dick back. Give my dick back.